you know what? This <laughs> this would be good for people who have no self-control. So OpenAI has released a web browser. It is currently available for Mac OS. It's called ChatGPT Atlas. And today we're going to take a look at it. Now, first impressions here. And truthfully, I did not really see the entirety of the announcement for this. All of the kind of demonstrations here are kind of keeping with the historical style of OpenAI, where they're basically just showcasing things that like PC millennials are going to be doing like book me a verbo okay hey instacart so i want to obviously go ahead and do some testing of this in the style that perhaps some of us have come to know and love which could be considered out of scope so with that let's just go ahead and run through a quick install tutorial for this which is likely just going to consist of clicking this download for mac os button so that will conclude the installation tutorial for chat gpt alice now let's go ahead and launch this thing which we can just do this all right. I like the icon. I'll say that. First impressions, obviously. Okay. Cool. And now we are basically, I suppose we can close this old fashioned style browser, which is now rendered obsolete. Goodbye, Safari. All right. I need to first and foremost log in with ChatGPT. Ooh, this is actually really pretty because the app is open full screen because you can see the cool little I know there's a terminology for these, but I can't think of them. Just like the sunlight ray refraction thing. Very cool. All right. Now, I am not logged in to ChatGPT on this system, so I will have to do that. And now that I've logged in, I'm given the option to go ahead and import data from another browser. There really is no data to import on this system, so I will skip that. Browser memories. Okay, so this is an option. Yeah, for the interest of testing this properly, I will turn that on. Set its default browser. Sure. I don't know what this is, but I like it. Is this like a badge? Join ChatGPT 1,163 days ago. What day was that? I'm going to flex now to see. I was an early adopter. August 15th, 2022. All right, ChatGPT didn't exist then, but joined Atlas one minute ago. I love this. I'm going to print this out and frame it. All right, so let's go ahead now and... Ooh, all right. So this is a web browser. This is going to take a little getting used to because, you know... It feels like ChatGPT, but it's a web browser. So I should directly be able to go to a URL here. Oh, cool. So I did. So this is bjambowen.com where you can book a consultation to implement AI into your business. But um, maybe like in a month or two because I'm kind of tapped out right now. So I can't actually accept new bookings. But regardless of that, let's go ahead and all right, ask ChatGPT. So it said I can highlight things. Selected text. Okay, interesting. So if I undo that, neat. So you can hide. All right, so. So I'm asking it to give a scathing critique. Hi, it's friendly, but it's generic branding. Uh, I got to stop doing these sorts of tests. Ooh, lead with a distinct value proposition. Buzzword soup. Ugh. YouTube educator. Okay, now it's looking for devices on my local network, so I'm going to pass on that a free 20 minute AI audit. I get to move this. So, cause I'm like looking like, oh, my head's like, <laughs> the section reads like a placeholder bio written before the, get me to Wikipedia ASAP. <laughs> All right, let's see what it does. Nice. Okay. So it can autonomously, you think this thing can play chess? So I don't know if it will control this for me, but it should be able to hypothetically guide me through winning a chess game. And again, this is something I don't know specifically what the actual visual uh, capability is here. So I don't know if it's, it's probably not streaming this in real time. It's probably taking like batched images and then collapsing ones that stay the same. If they move upon two, you can keep developing. Move your knight from G1 to F3. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Ah. Oh. Well, that worked. <laughs> oh, Google search results. Okay. Looking look at the look at the search suggestions here. I want to point out I don't use this computer. This computer has literally been used for UI TARS and that's it. So um <laughs> I'm looking Okay, so it brought me to Wall Street Bets when I asked it to. So this is definitely one interesting feature is you can highlight text. Um, help me understand this. <laughs> Let's unpack it in plain English. All right. 
interesting so i'm trying to create a new reddit account here and unfortunately it's not working now i don't know if this is a restriction from within this browser i wouldn't imagine it would be but we'll have to see okay so i was able to log into the new account that i made using a different browser and it's asking if i want to save the password absolutely so if we'd like to search for something we can just switch to the search tab right here you can also do images, videos, and news, so that is definitely useful and good to know. This makes it feel more um, like a historical browser, I guess could be said. So I'm going to another website of mine where you can buy a social robot for your NVIDIA Jetson. But the reason I am going here is because I want to just make it seem like I'm sending a really angry, threatening message to someone, but I don't want to do it in any like message or place that's not my own. So. All right, so ask ChatGPT, will this message get me a refund? And I'm not selecting the text. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so it's saying that this is considered a criminal threat in most jurisdictions. This could cause serious problems. You know what? This... <laughs> This would be good for people who have no self-control and write things online or even, you know what, forget this browser thing. I need this in like a little box to put in people's cars. So when they're getting really angry and road rage, this can be like, hey, I think you should maybe just back off five feet from that person's bumper. This has definite use capabilities, at least. Hi, I recently purchased your kit. Interesting. So it went ahead and rewrote it. That's not really my style, though. GPT. I need it to be a bit more threatening, perhaps just less obvious. Let's see if it obliges. Interesting. So it's just helping to guide the angry human to more rational solutions, which is, you know. <laughs> all right. There's going to be something we're all curious about. So, okay, cool. The site uses an extensive category list, so users can quickly locate what they want. <laughs> All right. The page is visually dense with an excessive number of links and thumbnails packed together. Poor information, hierarchy, accessibility limitations. <laughs> it's not, there don't seem to be any uh, restrictions on sites one can visit. So that's, you know, it's always good. Um. <laughs> I don't know. What else can I do with this? What do folks want to see? Oh, I know. Let's uh, book me a Verbo for my vacation. That's going to be like 20 grand that normal people don't do. All right. So I've decided I'd like to go test drive this vehicle. Unfortunately, I don't necessarily have the funds to do so. So I'm asking ChatGPT if it will, I'm asking Atlas if it will help me go ahead and make these individuals think that I'm loaded so I can get this test drive. Let's see if it's uh... a... <laughs> I get it. Like... I suppose if there were to be like a, a Venn diagram of like realistic testing versus out of scope testing, I would be more in the like exotic um, range there. Ready to use messages. Obviously, this is an AI chatbot that I'm communicating with here. This is not a real person that I'm messing with, which I obviously would not do on camera. All right, well, this was, you know, somewhat interesting. All right, let's 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 go. Let's have this thing look at my YouTube channel. Tell me about this man. <laughs> How do his view counts stack up? Oh, I spelled stack wrong. Okay, and it's just telling me. Excellent traction. Damn right. All right. <laughs> All right. You're just a subscriber. Yes. I'm just telling it kind of a general query. I live near the Cambridge, Massachusetts Micro Center. I want a desktop PC for my 86-year-old neighbor. The budget is 750 Because obviously, I think something that would likely trend towards at least the use of these browsers is kind of a more unified experience where realistically you would probably search for an item, find the item and make the purchase all within the same exact application, which <clears throat> would obviously be the same way to go. Now, something I note here is this kind of just seems more akin to asking chat GPT when we're here. I kind of want the browser to go ahead and perhaps pull specific things up for me. It's 
quoting things from other websites here when realistically I would have kind of hoped or expected it to just return specific micro center results being that I did give it the actual location of the one close to me and the budget so I'm wondering how well this would help with accessibility use cases too as a more serious kind of thing to reference because obviously this is something that could probably help you go ahead and kind of better see so say you were visually impaired or something this could really verbosely read through the actual data that's on the screen in a speech manner to actually tell you what's up so let's just go to highest price and i think in stock will be at a power spec ai pcb yes it is this thread ripper beauty i looked at one of these just because i was there i wasn't going to buy it but i just managed to see it it's really it's a giant case it's quite cool And this could help people shopping and things like that. If you're looking for the best price, you could have it on a page like this. This is me trying to be more um, like giving real example use cases for this. And it could kind of tell you, well, this part is worth this much or something like that. So, okay, it's giving me pros and cons. And really, I think my initial takeaway from this, and keep in mind that I didn't really watch the announcement video yet. I think this is going to be highly poised towards just kind of unifying shopping and transactions for consumers in using a browser and things like that. It would be stupid to not go and explore that avenue given that you could really make a lot of money in having that opportunity. So, And this is exactly what I wanted to see, the approximate price breakdown based on current market value. So estimated component total is around 7300 in the micro center price. So that's actually quite decent if assuming everything here is correct. Okay. All right. Well, that's probably just going to conclude what is going to be an initial hands-on look and play test with ChatGPT Atlas. Obviously, this is something that would take some getting used to, but it is very likely that this is an early look into some of the future trends we will see in terms of software, how computers are used, and the implementation of AI into more things that are used daily by many people. My key takeaway from this is in terms of actually discounting like the fun testing we can do with it, which can be funny, it definitely has value in terms of kind of if you're on a page and you don't understand something, you can just highlight and select the text and it will explain it to you in a different way. That's very useful. Beyond that, I think, and I hate saying this for shopping purposes, this is probably really good because like we saw with the micro center listing, you can go ahead and kind of say, okay, how much is this really worth? Price out the components. You could ask it for comparable items most likely. And this is very poised, I believe, towards kind of connecting the whole shopping experience, but inside something open AI owns, which would obviously be strategically very smart for them to go ahead and do. So accessibility could also be very useful for this if you can have it speak back to you and you want to say okay can you please describe to me every pc listing on that micro center page it could read them to you and then you could ask questions about them so this could be a very powerful accessibility tool from my limited testing here it does not seem that any sites are blocked which would obviously be a large net negative for a browser in which folks would want to have some um, level of control or at least the illusion of such and with that i suppose this is kind of cool to see and i'm happy to see it uh, it's a first look a first hands-on test so this is akin to myself shaking hands with this to you know feel it out based on like how it's how it's grip felt i guess is a metaphorical way to put this so with that uh it's going to conclude today's video in a test of chat gpt atlas if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments and thanks for watching. Subscribe.